Hey, this is Pastor David with Emmanuel Baptist Church here in Midland. And I just thought I would come to you by way of video to remind you that beginning Sunday, April 7th, which is this upcoming Sunday, we will begin meeting together with Damascus Church, a new church plant here in Midland that comes out of Sunrise Church of Midland. Uh, Pastor Nate, your guidus, uh, will be leading uh, worship. He'll be doing the preaching. Uh, they have a worship team that will be providing the music. So uh, things will be a little bit different during the month of April. As we consider God's will as whether he wants us to uh, potentially merge uh, the two churches together. And uh, uh, we would provide <laughs> age and experience uh, to them, and they would provide um, uh, energy and passion uh, uh, for us. And so I think it's a good blend, a good uh, complementarian uh, situation. And so uh, I just want to share a few thoughts with you as we um, seek the Lord's will in this together as a church. Why should Emmanuel consider joining with Damascus Church? I think of at least six reasons for this. First of all, our people need encouragement, nourishment, and a fresh vision. Uh, Emmanuel Baptist Church has been around a long time. Uh, it's one of the um, first churches that uh, was part of Michigan Southern Baptist way back in the 1950s. And uh, Mid Midland Emanuel Baptist Church has been a, a key church historically throughout the history of the Baptist State Convention of Michigan. And we want to keep it that way. We want the legacy to continue on that began when the church was founded. A second reason I think we should consider joining with Damascus Church is that the lost in our community need to see joyful, passionate, gospel-centered Christians alive on mission. It's harder to do work, to do the ministry, to do what needs to be done when a church primarily made up of senior adults um, tries to keep going. It's hard. And uh, there comes a time when you need energy, you need joy, you need uh, passion uh, in the church. And uh, in fact, that, that leads into the third reason I think we should consider joining with them. The church has been called to make disciples who make disciples. And we can do this better and more faithfully as we join others who are already doing this. That's one thing that helped this church to form in the beginning. Emmanuel Baptist Church. But also that's what led to the formation of Damascus Church. And we can recapture what wants to find us as Emmanuel Baptist Church, I feel, by joining with Damascus Church. Not only that, but number four, we can be better God-honoring stewards of the church building, grounds, money, and other resources. We're sitting here with uh, 25 people on a typical Sunday with a huge church building, a big parking lot, and not a lot to show for it, not a lot of activity. People probably wonder if anything even happens here. Well, I'm hoping that before too long, they're going to see that, yes, something's definitely happening here. God is definitely at work here. Lives are being changed here. And I think a possible merger with Damascus Church could bring that about. Number five, we can be a witness and a testimony to how God can take what is old 
and make it new again. God can breathe new life into and, and bring new ministry from what we put into his hands. And not only that, but how we do this, how we go about this merger can encourage other churches that might need to do this. And then what ought to be the most obvious reason to consider joining with Damascus Church is for the praise and fame of God's name throughout all the earth. That's the main utmost reason to consider this. And so the way I see it, by joining with Damascus Church, we would ensure a continuing legacy by re-engaging with the missions and ministry that laid the foundation for this church way back in the 1950s. Now this could mean changing the nature and the look of the church, but it certainly would not change the mission and the message of the church. And just a few words of advice, some maybe thought-provoking things here. First, let's not neglect the future trying to hold on to the past. The past can become an idol. Let's not allow that to happen. Let's press on. Let's press forward. That all will hear the gospel. It's not our church. It's his church. It's the Lord's church. And something else about the church. The local church is a unique institution in the world where God's glory is on display. We want people to see God on display, God at work in this church. In fact, at our prayer time here at church today, we read through part of Acts chapter 2, and it seems like one of the things that attracted the world to the church back in its early days was the way they gathered together, they met together, they broke bread together, they prayed together, they studied together, they worshiped together. They did it almost on a daily basis and people from different backgrounds and maybe people that ordinarily would be at odds with each other and wouldn't get along with each other had those things overcome by Jesus Christ living in them. And he can do that here. They had a good report among the people because of the witness they had as they loved and cared for and, and blessed one another in the church. They made a difference. And then finally, the last question I want you to consider that comes from uh, Brother Mark Clifton, who works with uh, church replanting at the North American Mission Board. The main question in his book, um, Reclaiming Glory, yeah. What about a dying church brings glory to God? Uh, folks, I, I don't want this church to die. And I think the best path forward for us is probably to join with Damascus Church. I'm not saying that's God's will. We certainly need to go through April and see how things go and pray about it. But at this point, that's what seems the most viable option, in my opinion. There are some other options, but this one seems the best. So pray for me, pray for one another, pray for Damascus Church as we seek the Lord's will.